episode of Check It Out, Carnegie Stout Library's Adult Services Podcast. I'm here with Sarah, another of the Adult Services Librarians, and I am Becky, and we're going to tell you a little bit about our adult summer reading program, the summer reading program in general, and then what we have coming up at the library. And just a quick announcement before we get into the details, you'll want to update your bookmarks if you have the library's old events calendar page bookmarked because we have a brand new shiny calendar. So that means if you've been annoyed by having to switch between registering on Google and sending emails and all the different things we've done during this transition period, we will be having one registration system going forward. Hooray! Hooray! (laughs) So I wanted to share some information about the upcoming summer reading program at Carnegie Stout. I read summer reading program theme for 2021 is Reading Colors Your World. The theme of colors provides us a context for exploring humanity, nature, culture, and science, as well as developing programming that demonstrates how libraries and reading can expand your world through kindness, growth, and community. Library patrons, young and old, will be encouraged to be creative, try new things, explore art, and find beauty in diversity. Registration for everyone, including adults, teens, and children, will begin June 7th. Everyone can register online, otherwise you can stop by the library to register in person. Adults should head to the recommendations desk, and children and teens will go to the youth services desk. We have a ton of fun activities and prizes planned for the adult summer reading program, including a design your own bookmark contest and a citywide scavenger hunt. We will also have a grand prize drawing at the end of the summer for three baskets filled with lots of fun goodies. Reading logs will be submitted online at carnegiestout.org forward slash summer dash reading, or you can pick up paper copies of the reading logs at the recommendations desk. All you have to do is complete a reading log for every three books read and, or obviously, take part in adult services, virtual events, or activity. Yes, you heard that correctly. Activities um, such as the Design a Bookmark Contest and the Scavenger Hunt will count as books read towards your total. More details about the Scavenger Hunt will be coming soon, but I'll tell you a little bit about our Bookmark Design Contest. Carnegie Stout is asking for you to help us jump into summer reading by designing your own bookmark. A template to help you design it will be available online or at the recommendations desk starting June 7th. Deadline for submissions is Friday, June 25th, and you can submit your entry at the recommendations desk or by email to yourlibrarian at dubuque.lib.ia.us. This contest is only open to adults ages 18 and older. You can create your design on the paper template available at the recommendations desk, or you can design it digitally on a computer. Make sure you use the theme Reading Colors Your World to help inspire you and obviously make it colorful. The three winning bookmarks will be printed and shared with library patrons for the whole community to enjoy. Each entry submitted will be counted as one bonus book for summer reading logs. You may submit no more than three entries, which will end up equaling one book log. If you have any questions about the adult summer reading program, please send an email to yourlibrarian at dubuque.lib.ia.us. So I have to ask. Are you going to be designing a bookmark? I am going to be designing a bookmark. I really like to color and do artsy, crafty things, so I figure, why not? I I mean, I can't win anything, but I still want to submit one for fun. Bonus points for glitter? Of course. Always. (laughs) I love all the glitter. That might make it hard to copy just a little bit. If you listened to last month's podcast, you have definitely heard about my series of programs featuring romance authors uh, that started with Farrah Roshan in May. If you missed that virtual event, you can check it out on the library's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Carnegie Stout. That's also linked from the library's homepage. But you still have time to sign up for our next two virtual romance author events for this summer. Meryl Wilsner will be speaking on Wednesday, June 9th at 6 p.m. Central Time. And when you register, you have a chance to win their debut novel, Something to Talk About. And Mia Sosa will be speaking on Thursday, August 5th at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. And if you register for her program, you can win a copy of 
The Worst Best Man, which was one of the funniest books I read in all of 2020. Still on my to-be-read list. I haven't quite gotten to it, but planning on it. There's always so many books on the to-be-read list. That's very true. Oh my goodness. Speaking of the to-be-read list, what books are you looking forward to reading this summer? Well, I have a giant stack of backlogged books that I purchased from Riverlights over the past year. Most of them are a bit more serious reading, Mm -hmm. and I kept starting them and then ending them. One example is Hamnet. Um, It's a novel of the plague, and so I was like, yeah, like, this is great. Focus on the pandemic, and then I just, I can't get through more than 20 pages before I'm depressed and have to move on. But I heard it's excellent, and so I'm going to give it a chance, and I'm going to push forward with that. Um, What else do I normally read in the summer? Are you more of like a serious reader in the summer or more of like a fun reader in the summer? See, I'm normally more of a serious reader. Last summer, definitely not. But Mm. the summer, I feel like my brain has more time to shut down and just focus on the books. I usually try to reread some of the classics I like. I love Wuthering Heights, despite my husband's extreme dislike for it. But um, I'll probably end up reading that over the summer. And then Jane Eyre, again, is another classic that I like to reread over and over again. Jane Eyre is one of my favorites, too. Yes, I haven't perfect. reread that in a long, long time. Yeah. Maybe I'm due. Agreed. What about you? What are you looking forward to reading? Well, I am looking forward to reading the volume six of Sweat and Soap. It's a manga series by Kintetsu Yamada, which I don't remember if I've talked about on the podcast or not, but it is um, definitely an adult's comic series. It is a contemporary romance, uh, office romance. So there is a young woman, Asako, who has... A disorder where she sweats too much and she's very self-conscious about it and she works at a company that does like soaps and perfumes and toiletries and things interesting and she runs into their head product designer who has this really sensitive sense of smell and it's like love at first smell it's very <laughs> weird and awkward but they are both such sweet goofy people and it it's Definitely kind of horny, but in such a sweet way, like they navigate like the dating process and introducing each other to their friends and like discussions of moving in together. It's just as it goes through the series. So number six is coming out very soon and that's about halfway through the series. There's only 11 volumes and so slowly coming out in English. You'll be so sad when they're done. Fingers crossed that they're going to go the traditional romance route and give it like a solid happy ending or at least just a, like a good ending for the characters but it's so, kind of wrap things so up, sweet I like things that are cute you know cute character <laughs> development another one that I am looking forward to reading is Uzma Jalaluddin and I might have just butchered her name but I read her first book Aisha at last last year which was a modern Muslim Canadian immigrant community take on Pride and Prejudice. I love that book. I need to try that. I read Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, but it sounds like I need to do this one. This one is definitely um, more of the positive aspects okay. of Pride and Prejudice okay. and, and fewer um, gruesome murder Great. scenes. Great. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. It's fantastic. Her new book that just came out is uh, Hana Khan Carries On, and it is not a reworking of a Jane Austen novel. It's just an original story, but it's also set in the Muslim community in Toronto, okay. which is always fun to read about in other country. Yeah, that fits in with our summer reading theme, right? So mm, Yes. And Hana's family has a restaurant, and a rival halal restaurant opens up across the street, and so then there's sort of a rivals thing going on but her true dream is to get into radio oh sort of the fun. canadian equivalent of npr I, from what i understand from okay. the description so sounds fun might be some hot tips for amateur podcasters <laughs> yes we could use some of that <laughs> so where do you like to read in the summer when you have free time to yourself ah well, one of the like highlights of Midwest summers is that it's actually nice outside. So I love getting to read outside. And so I like to take a lunch break and go to one of the parks that's in walking distance of the library and sit down and read like a chapter of a book as I eat my sandwich. Oh, how nice. That's very nice. I just got a new patio set for my front porch with like mm. comfortable cushions and stuff. So that's been kind of, since the weather has warmed up, my new go-to, especially on Sunday mornings when it's still quiet. I can have my tea and read my books. So. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. Agreed. Are there any like movies or TV 
that you're looking forward to? Well, I just went to my first movie back in theaters. Did you? Yes, this oh, past wow. weekend. It was a little scary, but also very fun. I saw A Quiet Place 2, which... That's definitely scary. Yes. That's going to terrify. that up. <laughs> oh, so scary. So if you're not into tense movies, don't go see A Quiet Place 2. But it was really, really good. John Krasinski actually did the writing for it this time. And it seemed much more mature than I would have expected for, you know, an actor, I guess, and not... A screenwriter but we really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun so i'm glad we took the plunge nice i honestly have completely lost track of what's new and coming out movies and tv wise but i am very slowly catching up on the last season of schitt's creek oh i love schitt's creek it's so funny i'm i've been like drawing it out though like mm-hmm. like one episode a week enjoy it while you can i just don't want it to end i know it was so sad when i finally watched that last episode no so spoilers. I don't won't, spoil it. I, won't. I somehow have avoided spoilers, which is great. I just love Dan Levy so much. He's just, he's a wonderful actor, and he did a lot of great things with that show. What foods say summer to you? Anything pie. I just went to the farmer's market and got a giant blueberry pie, and it was so good. So good. Right. And fresh fruit. Yes. Yes. Definitely fruit. I just made um, a pie this weekend okay. with stuff from our garden. We have gotten about three pounds so far of strawberries from our garden, which is wow. so cool. That's awesome. And we also got a solid number of honeyberries, which no one has heard of. I have not heard of honey. For something called the honeyberry, they are surprisingly tart. Okay. I would have expected really, really sweet. No. Interesting. No, but they're, they're a nice flavor. It's a good sweet tart. So I made a strawberry honeyberry with some blueberries to make it extra sweet okay. pie this weekend. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It was nice. I also like to eat a lot of watermelon in the summer, which we were just talking about. Watermelon, watermelon sugar, sugar high. Yep. So, but I just love watermelon. Could just eat the whole thing by myself. Watermelon is pretty all right, but what really says summer to me, peaches. Really? Yes. There is nothing like... It does taste like summer. A good peach. Fresh peach mm-hmm. ice cream. Oh, it's just so good. Yes. <laughs> have any books, movies, TV show, music suggestions, or favorite foods uh, that scream summer to you or you're looking forward to summer 2021, feel free to send that to us and we'll put you in our next podcast. That email is librarian at dubuque.lib.ia.us. You can also find a page with podcast information on the library's website, carnegiestout.org. Or you can call us up on the phone and we'll walk you through it. 563-589-4225. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Check It Out, Carnegie Stout Public Library's Adult Services Podcast. Special thank you to Becky and Sarah for recording this month's episode. As always, thank you to Ben Eagle, for recording and performing the music for this podcast. Happy reading!